Connor, and I wish you all a happy new year. So today I'm going to be um, showing you my 2022 bullet journal setup. And this video is really special because I'm going to be trying a new editing style and also thumbnail and just a little new year makeover for the channel. So I think you'll like it and the theme for 2022 is something to be sparkly. So I think we could all expect better from 2022 but we don't know but um, we'll try to make the best out of it. But before this I really want to thank all the subscribers for staying with me till 2021 and for all the moments that happened in 2021, the happy moments of course, the sad moments and I would like to believe in myself and I would like to say the same to you. So now let's get into our 2022 bullet journal setup without further ado. Hey guys, so we are back to the camera and well, I am not moving into a new bullet journal because this is not filled up yet. So this is a bullet journal from Factor Notes and they are a great company. I got this at a good discount in Amazon. So well, uh, yeah, this is half of 2021 in here and half of 20. I mean, I don't know half or full of 2022. But yeah, um, do excuse me for the lightning effect because I do not have proper lighting equipment. Uh, so well, now uh, for the video. Yeah, this is a 2022 bullet journal setup. So I am going to be doing this sparkly slash floral kind of setup for 2022. I just want positive vibes for this and that's all. So yeah, well now let's get into the video, shall we? So first of all, I'm sketched it out and uh, the cover page and now I'm just going to erase it. I don't want any traces of pencil on it. So now I'm going to be using some glue and like if you're wondering why because i told you sparkly right so i'm gonna be using glitter glitter can surely be an hassle but if you work with it slowly and patiently it doesn't seem much of a hassle so yeah but make sure you don't get something in your mouth or he nail it or something because you don't want that right and if you're going to be doing the setup with me pause this video right now grab your supplies and come back so yeah if you're back hey again so yeah so now i'm gonna be using this um kind of iridescent and turquoise color glitter for the 2020 off 20 off and then i'm going to be using a uh, cerulean blue but chunky round type glitter for the half of 20 other half of 20 you know so like it seems different in the camera with lighting and all so yeah and then now i'm going to be uh, you know painting the glue in 2020 22 so well i am going to be using a really small kind of glitter but it's the color is like prussian blue and then i'm going to be using a violet a light violet you know like lavender color uh, glitter but it's like sprinkled shaped you know and it's also translucent a little bit so yeah i'll just show you what i mean in a minute so yeah well this is what i'm talking about make sure you don't get glitter all over your clothes or something but yeah i did this and i just went with this blue to purple theme for the glitter colors you can go with any color you would like and well now i'm gonna be um doodling all the floral leaves right now the first leaf this one and then i'm gonna be doing this christmas kind of thing i don't know like yeah maybe like mulberries kind of thing on the left side of two and two so yeah that one i'm talking about and now i'm gonna be doing a normal kind of leaf with gaps in between and i'm gonna be doing another leaf but unfortunately that does not get into the video camera so um well you just gotta make it out because i'll show you later what i mean by that and also make sure that the glue has dried you know the glitter with the glitter stuck on because you do not want to mess it it become a huge mess and trust me you do not want that well other than that i'm just going to be outlining all the doodles and uh, with a black pen and then i'm going to be using some craft brown paper and i'm going to make this look aesthetic as i could like i'll show you so yeah this is what i'm with now and now i'm just gonna be using some craft paper 
yes and i'm gonna be tearing a little piece of paper and then i'm gonna tear it into two and well i'm gonna stick one on the le top left and one on the bottom right i'll show you what i mean in, in a sec so yeah so as i do like i've seen this in a lot of videos and want to try it myself but i could not get my hands hold of um brown craft paper i had to search everywhere like literally like a year or something so now i'm gonna stick both these pa pieces of paper now they're stuck and now i'm gonna use some a glitter baby pink tape and a glitter baby blue tape just for aesthetic so this is what i'm talking about the aestheticness and i had a new coat new year new me same dreams fresh starts with polka dots of glitter for some reason i wanted to do that so yeah, this is the coat page and like cover page of 2022 so yeah now let's move on to future log shall we i didn't do the future log last year but i'm doing this year uh well if you do not know what a future log is, it's just basically writing out all the months of the year and then you're going to be using it for logging in someone's birthday or a special occasion or a holiday. And well, I uh, for this, my, um, you know, uh, my uh, grid spacing cheat sheet worked a lot. I'll, um, sorry for stammering, you know, uh, this is my first time trying a new style of voiceover, so yeah. Well, the grid ch cheats, you know, grid spacing cheat sheet really helps you a lot. So if you haven't tried that yet, I recommend you to try it out. You will literally be missing so much if you don't do it. And I think there are a lot of videos out there on the internet how to do a grid spacing cheat sheet because I am using a dotted grid journal. I don't know what journal you guys are using, so yeah. Well, but this really helps a lot. And if you want a grid spacing bullet journal video, I could definitely put that out. I think I use like 9 spaces horizontal and 16 spaces um, vertical in these. Uh, you know, to divide these into 3 columns and rows, 6 rows, you know, like that. Well, now I'm just writing future log with the sketch pen green. And then I'm going to add a drop shadow with the yellow sketch pen. And now I'm just going to be writing January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And I'm not using any cursive writing style for it, just my normal handwriting. And after that, I'm just going to be uh, writing the dates, you know, the month's date. And you got to be careful with this. You don't want to mess this up, you know, because... And some people use stamps, but I do not have that. And well, I think once you start drawing it you will get the hang of it you know writing it now i'm just going to do that for every month well now yeah next up we have the goals 2022 goals and i divided this into personal and school i usually uh, had like goals for every month but now i'm just having 2022 goals itself so yeah and i you can do this like normal ribbon banner kind of thing it always comes in handy for titles and headers you know so the first one is personal and the second one is school after doing this video i filled up the personal uh, you know area and the school i am almost doing it but school is really important for me so that's why i've given it more space in there so as you can see i'm just gonna be using um i mean a micron pen throughout the video because it's really helpful and just so cool you know so yeah well i'm doing this wavy kind of banner thing ribbon banner and now we're going to move on to things to check out well this is nothing but just things you want to check out in the year like tv shows movies bo books podcasts songs and shopping and if you guys have any suggestions in these categories do tell me like especially tv shows and movies and books you know even songs also like the books harry potter series percy jackson series or classics like of mark twain you know you could do like that or even mythologist fiction non-fiction anything and tv shows i mean like brooklyn 99 friends big bang theory like what else i do not remember right now but yeah and even I've fallen in love with K-dramas, anime. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, do comment them below. So now I'm just going to underline all of them in brush pens. And now moving on to the last two pages of my 2022 bullet journal setup is looking back at 2021. I'm going to write a series of things around it, you know, 
gonna scatter them the first thing i'm gonna do is mistakes i made i'm just writing this all with a glitter pen then i needed more and something i learned something i was grateful for something i tried and personal accomplishments and finally the highlights and looking forward next page is looking forward in 2022 is the personal goals the type of person i want to be i want to let go of these bad habits or something or i want to keep this i want to learn i want to try so yeah that's it and now well i'm just gonna go back to the future log and underline i mean highlight all of the months names you know with brush prints and after this i'm gonna be showing you a final flip through of the 2022 bullet journal setup so now yeah first up the cover page and the code page next up we got the future log next up we got the 2022 goals and things to check out page and finally looking back at 21 and looking forward in 2022 so yeah that's it friends bye bye see you in the next video